You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, CBS Soap Opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we want to talk about something right now, somebody who's been name-dropped on Young the Restless recently, and because of that, we have every reason to think that he's going to be back, and so we're going to talk about J.T. Hellstrom. Before we dig in, click that subscribe button if you're not already following us right here on Soap Dirt at YouTube, and then we're going to dig into this. Everybody wants to know, what happened to J.T. Hellstrom? Is J.T. alive? Where is JT and did JT die? <laughs> There's a whole bunch of questions from people that don't quite remember the history. His last big scenes were, he kept going after this, but the big controversial scenes were in like spring and summer of 2018, although the stuff with him continued for a while. So we're going to dig in and talk about that and why he's being name dropped and why it looks like that they are going to bring Tad Luck and Bill back as JT. Hellstrom. If you didn't know this, the first thing to know is that Tad Luck and Bill is in real life married to Amelia Heinle, who plays Victoria Newman. So they place ex spouses on Young and the Restless, and they're real life spouses. They did split up for a while, but then they reconciled. They've got kids together. It's all very cute. They actually met on the set. Very nice. And so right now, JT is being name dropped. The people dropping his name are Audra Charles and Elena. Elena Dawson. And it seems strange for Audra to be bringing up JT. This is not somebody she's ever met, not somebody that I remember Elena ever meeting, but they've all heard about him. But the kicker is that Victoria Newman is busy trying to get into Nate Hastings' pants, and they almost did it on her office desk, and then she's inviting him to this business trip. So it just seems inevitable that she is going to hit the hay with him, which is what she wants. The problem is that Elena loves him and wants him, and Audra also also wants him, although she hasn't made that obvious to him yet, but she's kind of playing a long game. And so she knows that she needs to get both Victoria out of the way and Elena out of the way. And getting Elena out of the way should be pretty easy if he cheats with Victoria, but then Victoria's a problem. And JT Hellstrom is the answer to that as far as Audra is concerned. So Audra has name dropped JT to Elena Dawson as a potential guest for her medical podcast. And why would JT belong on a medical podcast? Well, that's because when he exited the show, he had a very serious medical crisis. He had a brain tumor that was causing him to behave badly. However, if you ask longtime Young and the Restless fans, the person they think that might have had a brain tumor is the showrunner that decided to take JT Hellstrom's character and ruin it. If you remember JT from way back in the day, he's a good guy. He and Victoria share a son, Reed Hellstrom, who is a young man now. He is in his teens, early 20s at this point. I think they've sourced him a couple of times. But JT loved Victoria. You know, he had the same kind of issues with Victoria that a lot of people have with Victoria, and that is her family that are invasive and nosy and try to destroy the children's happiness to control their lives. But he was a good guy. And then Mal Young, if you remember that name, Mal Young was the British soap producer that they brought in at the time that CBS was gearing up to fire Jill Farron Phelps. And she had, oh, what was his name? Chuck Pratt. It was Chuck Pratt. He was the head writer. And Jill Farron Phelps was the showrunner, you know, lead producer. And CBS was making it clear that they were going to cut Jill and Chuck out, okay? And they brought Mal Young first over as like a supervising producer. It was a weird, almost kind of like a made up credit, like consulting producer maybe. It was a very strange credit and everybody smelled in the wind that they were getting ready to hand the reins to Mal Young and that they had brought him over from England for this purpose. He worked on some big soaps over in England. And YNR fans were pretty excited because a lot of people did not like Jill Phelps and they didn't care for Chuck Pratt. 
Chud Pratt was the one who wrote all the big fiery disasters. Like there was always something burning or blowing up on his tenure as head writer. People even called them Prattastrophes, naming them after him. So Mal Young did take the reins. They did get rid of the other two. They gave him full capacity. And so he was the head writer and the producer. So he was the showrunner and he brought JT Hellstrom back and wrote him as an abusive partner to Victoria. Victoria and JT started dating again. Then he started abusing her verbally, physically, and fans were outraged because this was so out of character for JT and it really ticked people off. And it escalated to the point that JT forced his way into Victoria's house and he attacked her. And then Nikki Newman hit him in the head with a fireplace poker. And she and Phyllis Summers, who at that time was played by Gina Tognoni, and Sharon Newman had helped with it. The four ladies took his body to Chancellor Park where they were doing some construction and they buried him because they thought they had killed him and they were like, oh, well, he's an abuser. That was in April of 2018 and that was fully in the tenure of Mal Young. This is at the time where he was sidelining legacy characters like Victor Newman, where he had pretty much written Doug Davidson off the show as his character and people were so frustrated. Then they decided to make it that he had a brain tumor. He dug his way out of the grave and came back to torment them. And the torment went on for quite a while. And then they figured out he had a brain tumor and they took out the brain tumor and they offered him a potential deal where he could plead kind of temporary insanity because of this tumor and what it was doing to his brain. But he said, no, I want to plead guilty. I'm going to go to prison. And the reason that they went that route was because Tad Luck and Bill had not planned to stay indefinitely. He's a very busy producer in his own right. And that's what he spends a lot of his time doing. So he couldn't stay at the soap forever, but they just wrecked his character, even though they kind of halfway redeemed him with this brain tumor story. So the bottom line is now he went to prison and we have to assume that he's out. Audra hired a private investigator to try and find him. So clearly he's not still in prison or he'd be very easy to find. Although depending on when he got out, he should have been on parole and that should also make him easy to find. But because they keep mentioning his name, it seems inevitable that they are going to bring JT Helstrom back. So if you have been wondering, is JT Helstrom alive? Yes, he survived being hit in the head by Nikki and being buried and then he dug his way out. He's alive, but he went off to prison. If you want to know what happened to JT Helstrom, that's what happened. He was the victim of bad writing more than any thing that ruined his character and set him up as an abuser. And thankfully that was eventually resolved, but it was just so horrible to watch. If you're a fan of JT and Victoria and their dynamic, it was just awful. And if you don't remember, Mal Young himself was fired, which a lot of fans cheered at that because people initially thought, oh, fresh new blood, get rid of Jill, get rid of Chuck. And then it was like, oh, maybe we just should have stuck with the devils we knew <laughs> instead of bringing in somebody new. So if you're wondering, is JT Hellstrom coming back? It seems likely that he could come back just because his name has been dropped a lot. And the question is whether Victoria would want to rekindle with him, even though she understands there was a medical reason for what he did, he still abused her. And so it seems like she would still have some sort of psychological issues with that, some PTSD. So it's not clear why Audra would think that JT coming back to town would lure Victoria's attention away from Nate, but that seems to be what they're doing. We will let you know in our comings and goings updates when we get official word, if there is official word coming of Tad Luck and Bill's return as JT Hellstrom. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button below so you get all the latest updates and we'll be sure and keep an eye on this situation and when and if CBS brings Tad back as JT. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.